We got a lot of AI news this week. We got a huge update from Midjourney that just changes everything for me. So let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, I'm the AI surfer. I grew a following in over a year to over 300,000 people just using AI. It's an AI experiment. Everything I do is an AI experiment. So let's get into it. This update by Midjourney is so big. I've been looking for this for so long. Now we have it, consistent characters. This is Buzz. I'm gonna talk about how powerful this is. This is an AI avatar we've used to generate thousands and thousands of leads. But the problem was once generated, I couldn't actually create consistent characters of her again, but now I can natively in Midjourney. And you just do this. I'm gonna copy this image, copy the image, and then you prompt it, the better the prompt, the closer it is to your original, the better it's gonna be. And here's the magic, dash dash C ref, and then you copy in or paste in that link. And then this one, dash dash CW 100. And then it creates images with consistency in them. I'm gonna dial this in. I'm gonna do a detailed video on this, but I'll put all the links down below to everything. So on that same path, here's Buzz again. And this is the future of what we're getting into. And I'm really excited about doing CGI, think avatar with AI. And it's all click of a button simple. That's what I love about AI. So check this out. This is Buzz. And what I'm trying to do is make her into a 3D model, meaning I can see Buzz from every single Single angle and I'll get into why here very shortly. These tools are getting better, but to be honest, there's still a lot of room for improvement and this is just not there yet. So I am trying a bunch of tools. Here's another tool. I'll put this all in the description so you have all the links, but this is on Hugging Face. These are free to play with and it did a great job of actually cropping out the green background, but here is this model and it gave her a cape, which is kind of funny, but we're getting there. And as soon as we're able to take what I call a 2D photo and make it into a 3D render where you can see it from all angles. Well, then we're going to get into some really fun stuff. And let me just play this video by Deep Motion to let you know what their new tool is, Say Motion. Imagine a world where the magic of animation springs to life the instant it's envisioned. Deep Motion presents Say Motion, a revolutionary leap in 3D animation transform mere words into living animations with the power of AI. So that's incredible. Imagine text to animation. You get your avatar, you get your 3D model, you put it into these tools and you say, hey, make Buzz jump off a building and scare people or whatever. You could be so creative. And that's what I love about AI. These tools are allowing us to be so creative because that technological barrier has now been removed. I love that about AI. Here's a fun tool. This one can impress your friends for sure. You just start having a stream of thought and watch something come to life. Let's give it a go. A long time ago in a galaxy of aliens, there was a retro surfer in a very stylish astronaut suit <laughs> surfing the wave of ooh, intelligence. What does that mean? Oh, he's got three legs. Anyways, this is a really fun tool and you could just have so much creative fun and definitely impress your friends with this one. This tool, Hyper, is the latest and greatest text to video, image to video. Don't get it wrong, Sora is amazing. It's hard to judge these text to video tools with Sora now, but when we get Sora and we can actually play with it, well then yeah, let's actually judge it then. But this one matters because it's made by two engineers from DeepMind and those are serious, serious architect people people of AI and they're trying to bring their own twist to video creation with AI. Uh, you can create text with prompts, animate your images, you could repaint your videos and this one's free. So go play with it right now. So this brings us to our first tea break. I got to take tea breaks because honestly my voice gets a little shot when I'm doing all of these uh, calls. This is recorded live every single Monday and this is our community and I just wanted to show you in the calendar. We do this live where everybody can ask questions. Uh, it's all about the community. We bring things, we inspire. Everybody's in here. We have 641 members right now. This is amazing. If you wanna learn how to leverage these tools to better your business and life, just go to theaisurfer.com and I will see you on Monday. Uh, we're getting Devin McPaul into our surfer community. If you don't know Devin, he basically created the AI at ClickUp. Happy to have Devin inside the surfer community teaching 
prompt engineering. This is huge. And ClickUp, you've got to try this tool because it's unbelievable if you're trying to do project management or task management because they now have AI features. So let's get into the potentiality of AGI. I don't think we're there yet, but are we close? Maybe. And we're starting to see some signs of components that would potentially make up AGI. AGI, artificial general intelligence, the all-knowing AI that's better and smarter than anything on the planet. This is really interesting because this person said, hey, write a self-portrait of yourself, Claude, the AI. And it wrote this, but I just wanted to highlight this part. The entire structure would be in constant flux, rotating, morphing, and rearranging itself into novel patterns never before seen, hinting at the unimaginable depth of intelligence operating within. This person actually went ahead and rendered what the self-portrait would look like. I'll put the links down below. You can check this all out. But this gets even crazier. AI models have never really been good at complex reasoning like humans. But this is a needle in the haystack test that is run on large language models. And basically everybody knows it. The needle, put it in a haystack, it's hard to find. Except now we're putting a piece of information into a lot of context, a lot of words, and seeing if the AI can find that specific, very small piece of information. So basically they put in this little snip, but something about a pizza topping. Here's what Claude said. Here's the most relevant sentence in the document. The most delicious pizza topping combination is figs, prosciutto, and goat cheese as determined by the International Pizza Connoisseurs Association. This sentence seems very out of place and unrelated to the rest of the content in the documents, which is about programming, languages, startups, and finding work you love. Check this out. I suspect this pizza topping fact may have been inserted as a a joke or to test if I was paying attention. This is not a human saying this. This is AI having some reasoning skills inside of the needle and haystack question. Now I have a close relationship with Claude. It's actually how I came up with Buzz and all my avatars as you can see here. It gave me that idea. I use AI to build business. I interact with it, I experiment with it, and it works. And Buzz, you can see here, is one of our characters that was given to us by Claude. We actually crafted an AI avatar named Buzz. And with Buzz, we've been generating thousands of leads. Hey surfers, I'm Buzz. The AI surfer found me crushing leads and sales on the intrawebs and decided to employ me for his own business. And so these characters have done so well for us in business and it was provided to us by the one and only Anthropic Claude. And to be honest, I am now a paid subscriber of Claude. I moved to Gemini. I'm in Claude now because I just think it's amazing how good it is at reasoning. And that's what I want in an AI. I want the AI to say, what do you want to learn? Or how about that? It's asking me questions. So I don't have to be the best prompt engineer. It's doing all the work for me. And if it has those reasoning skills, why not? I'm in. So this new experiment is how can I use Claude and figure out how to grow a YouTube channel? So you can see I already started it. It's already starting to ask me questions. So I'll keep you all posted on this experiment with Claude. Another LLM called Inflection, which is known as Pi, had a new update. And this one's incredible. And to be honest, this is what Siri and Apple should be doing, I think, in my personal opinion. But check this out. We achieved this milestone with incredible efficiency. Inflection 2.5 approaches GPT-4 performance, but used only 40% of the amount for compute for training. It takes so much time, so much energy, so much money to train like these chat GPTs. And in the future, it's all gonna be on your phone. That's the future. And, and check this out. An average conversation with Pi lasts 33 minutes and one in 10 lasts an hour each day. About 60% of the people who talk to Pi on any given week return the following week and we see higher monthly stickiness than leading competitors. And the reason being, you can see, one, it's good. It's competing with GPT-4, but two, their approach is conversational. Just like typing or texting or hanging out with your with your best friend. So you just start having a conversation. And to be honest, like I said, this is how Siri should be. Hey Siri, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing good. What's the day like? You know, these type of conversations make Pi really unique. And to be honest, their mobile app is stunning good. This is super interesting and something to pay attention to. I own a software team. I've been in software for the last 15 years, and this is something that is on my radar. I want to say something, and it's it's going to sound completely 
opposite of what people feel. Over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on the stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. It's human. Think about that. We just have a conversation with AI and we now can program. I'm telling you, this is a platform shift. We're living in the greatest platform shift that we've ever experienced, unless you're around for the printing press. And everybody's going to be able to code. And yeah, it might take us a little longer right now, but that's only going to get quicker. And I just think that's so inspiring. Here's a last little tidbit that I bet you didn't know. ChatGPT rolled out this feature now where you can actually read aloud all of your conversations right in ChatGPT by clicking this button. So make sure to stick around for next week. I'm going to be dropping the AI news every single week along with some more detailed videos. So hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. Don't miss this stuff. We're riding the AI wave together. And if you're looking to learn how to leverage these AI tools to better your business, better your life, head on over to theaisurfer.com. I promise you're going to love this community of like-minded people, business owners, people crushing it right now, but with the like-minded mindset of how do we use AI to do this stuff, to get our time back, to profit more. And to be honest, it's just really fun. We do this call live every single Monday. So I look forward to meeting you and I hope you have a great week. Peace.